to use the reach and height advantage. As long as he stays outside, that's in his favor. Little Teddy's got to come in, and he's got to pound when he gets him in close. Teddy's used to that kind of fight. Oh, left hand stopped by Mann. Good snapping hook, left hook by Teddy Mann. He's a tough little guy. Okay, you hold him up. Teddy Mann likes to fight in close. I've seen him fight an awful lot of times, and he is, his fight is in close. He likes to get in and flail away with his little arms. And another left by Mann off the break. I mentioned that Epps began his boxing career as an amateur at the age of 10. Mann began at 16 years of age, entering amateur competition, winning 38 of 43 bouts. What's that? Come on. As an amateur in the semifinals of the New Jersey State Championship, man lost by decision to a fellow by the name of Curtis Parker. It is amazing that uh, Teddy is uh, trying to out jab Robbie Epps. And he is the aggressor in this round. to keep you drier. And we're on to round three. Had to score that second round. Teddy Mann on aggressiveness. He came inside. He neutralized him. And uh, between rounds, Zach Clayton came in and warned Robbie Epps for elbowing and healing. That's uh, using the uh, lace part of your glove and said, I'm going to penalize you if you keep doing it. And Robbie Epps, like a good service kid, said, yes, sir. <laughs> took the first, Matt took the second. This is round three. We are scheduled for 10 here in Atlantic City. There you see the even bout to this point. 26-year-old Teddy Mann out of Point Pleasant, New Jersey. 23-year-old Robbie Epps. Now living in Los Angeles. Epps ranked number nine by Ring Magazine. Left, delivered by Mann. Good work by uh, Teddy Mann just then. A good combination and out jabbed him twice. Robbie Epps must throw from outside and he must throw a lot more than he's been throwing. That left hand was blocked, but he got the second left in. have had very little meeting aside from early first round. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Early in the first rounds, he was crisp with combinations, and he seems to have abandoned that now. Teddy doing most of the work now. I'll take it down. Come on. Hey, you got it. Come on. And so we come to the conclusion of this third round. Okay, good afternoon, gentlemen. Strong third round for Teddy Mann. 
right here, lining it up and landing the right hand on Robbie Epps and then going to the body. What he's doing so well is after he throws the punches, he ties up Robbie Epps. He just falls right into him and ties him up. That's that uh, club fighting um, experience of Teddy Mann. He's fought these gritty battles all up and down the Eastern Seaboard, and uh, he gave Bobby Chez a similar kind of fight. If his facial tissues hold up. Mann has taken the play away from Epps, and you forget about that uh, four-inch height advantage. He's, he is uh, not using his uh, height advantage. He is letting uh, Teddy Mann cut him down to size. All right, Teddy Mann winning the third round on the scorecard of the fight, Doctor. So Mann in front, two rounds to one. This is scheduled for ten. We have another big day of boxing tomorrow here on NBC. On NBC Sports Ringside, the World Boxing Association Junior Welterweight Championship fight. Undefeated champion Aaron Pryor going against Miguel Montilla. Pryor goes for his 22nd consecutive knockout. That's starting at 1 o'clock Eastern time. And then tomorrow on Sports World, starting at 4. Ronaldo Snipes making his first appearance. Oh, right hand by man. And goes to the body effectively. That was the best body punch of this fight. And he's got Epps going back into the quicker. As I started to say on Sports World tomorrow, starting at four, Ronaldo Snipes taking on undefeated Scott Frank. Scheduled 10 round heavyweight bout for Snipes' first appearance since the near incredible upset of Larry Hall. Another great hook by Teddy Mann, just as Robbie Epps was starting to build up points for combinations. I'll take it, I'll take it. Robbie Epps fighting a predictable one two combination. And Teddy Mann mixing it up to the body of the head with hooks and jabs. And that does it for round four. We'll be back with round five in a moment. All right. Another excellent round for Teddy Mann as you watch some of the action. Epps able to land. We had it as Mann's round. Although Robbie Epps did fight himself out of difficulty on several occasions. As we await round five, Mann preparing to make his move out of the corner. Teddy Mann, who looked to be in serious trouble in the first round because of a deep cut right on the eyelid, a dangerous, dangerous part. It has not been a factor in the fight. The corner work of Manzelli Aliano has kept it closed. Mann continues to tee off to the body of Robbie Epps. Well, it, this fight looks like it's three to one as far as I've got it on Mann's uh, aggressiveness and uh, nitty grittiness. Good right hand. Set up with the jab. Right now, it looks like the uh, excited nervousness of the East Coast versus the laid-back style of the California. Robbie's laid back, but I don't know what for. He better start fighting a lot harder. Oh, man, again, landing with hooks. Punch out again. I'll punch out again. Come on. Get free to punch. Scoring system in the uh, state of New Jersey is on the round basis. If the round is even, they go to the five-point system break the tie on the scoring handle by the referee. And 
the two judges, Eva Shane and Tommy Kasmer. Now look from the overhead view. That gives us an idea of the space between the fighters. Teddy Mann comes in and cuts that space. It's to Robbie's advantage to keep it wide. Pushing us all over the ring. He's manhandling him. 